Hello everyone, and today I will be sharing you with you the foolproof plan of how to crack the neat PG2. 2021 with the new pattern so what i was concerned about that everyone is just busy telling about the change in the pattern and the timings like from 300 mcqs to 200 mcqs and the timings has been changed and all the things now no one is telling uh, how to deal with it no one is telling how to revise it accordingly for this change exam pattern and how to study now because almost uh, many of you have might be completed the one or two revisions and uh, might be more so let's start how to progress with this now main concern that the questions has been reduced so there will be more clinical questions but how to approach these clinical questions how can you make your approach better towards these clinical questions so the medicine subjects like medicine surgery ops gynae pedia and ortho they create the major chunk major chunk for these clinical approach questions and what to uh, in these subjects what you need to focus you need to focus on the uh, sign and symptoms and the most of the most important diseases till now you have read the most common occurring diseases which present in the OPDs and not the rare ones you don't have you don't need to focus on the rare rare ones because these are that rare they even don't read about it and but you have to focus on the most uh, presenting most important diseases in the community and uh, in, in these diseases what you need to focus on like science symptoms no more and plus the most specific laboratory findings or radiological findings in that order you will be covering that uh, microbiology and biochemistry these subjects you need to cover in this pattern only you not need to study them like for one liners and all the things you just need to uh, study and correlate with these clinical questions uh, clinical subjects these subjects should be correlated with the most important laboratory findings and radiological uh, pictures and everything so this is how you should be uh, how to revise the, for clinical question solving and this will be very helpful now for example i will be telling you uh, with a question there so a patient present with seizures so first of all what will you note uh, that this the clinical complaints are seizures now ct hrct report or report uh, just CT report reveal multiple parenchymal cyst. Okay, so this is not calcification. The patient is presented with multiple parenchymal cyst. So which of the following is the correct regarding this management? So this is how they have changed the pattern. I, I just need to show you this, that this is how they have changed the pattern because they are just uh, looking at how knowledgeable you are. You should be knowing this, uh, the clinical features, the report and lab findings, uh, what I sorted out in a question they might give. And now they are not asking you the name of the disease. They are asking you the management. So you should be knowing the name of the disease. And accordingly, now uh, you should be able to manage the patient. So how will you manage the patient? See, it is multiple parenchymal cysts and seizures. So what is this? You should be starting simple question like steroids. And after that, followed by antiparasitic drugs because it is presented with parenchymal cyst. So this should be the approach. Steroid should be given. Uh, before the antiparasitic drug because the other options are antiparasitic drug followed by the steroids see they are very similar looking questions and the, what happens the students might get confused in this see uh, that antiparasitic should be given first or steroids should be given first so this is the approach they want you to clear this is the concepts you need they need your concepts to be clear so that you will be able to mark the right answer and this is how the exam questions will be uh, because this is the example i have to show with an example how they will be giving the questions in such a manner that they will be uh, willing to ask everything to you now for image in GIF based questions, many of them, many of you have asked me what to study and uh, in such a short time, what to revise for these kind of questions. So I will be telling you about uh, clinical tests, like if you, for example, Allen's test and many of the tests, like also the uh, clinical pictures, they ask for uh, trendy land works position or Fowler's position. So these kind of uh, positions or clinical tests, GIF based, video based questions, uh, this is very much us. Now the instruments, all the surgery, surgical instruments, foley's and rice tubes and blades, surgical blades, sutures, many other things. These are the instruments, ops and gynae instruments. They can be asked directly. Also some dermatological pictures are in trend nowadays that what is this cyst, what is this blackening occurring due to and uh, some blisters, nodules, papules and uh, erythema. These kind of you need to be there and along with the treatment you should study this. So they will be asking like that only. Now, what I told you, the x-rays, just x-rays and HRCT images and respiratory questions like COPD changes or um, TB changes. And nowadays, some COVID is there, so they can ask you about that also. So very important to study about that. Now, microbiological pictures as well. You should be able to uh, identify the bacteria, the different stains and uh, the parasite images, the insect images in the PSM, the important causative factors you need to identify and you need to mark the correct answer. They will not ask directly that what this agent cause. They will be giving you along with a clinical question and you need to uh, remember the insect or parasite or anything that microorganism and you they will be asking you. So what I was saying, you just have to identify the things and correlate with the clinical symptoms you have read. You have read everything and the clinical symptoms of important diseases. This, they ask only the important and main images, but you have to remember and correlate with the given things because you have now 63 seconds for one MCQ. This is more than enough if you think and answer the question correctly. So this is, uh, in, my think, in, in my thinking, this should be the approach for the re revision of neat PG of this new pattern, this clinical core pattern. So all the best. And if you have any query, you can ask me below.